Hello everyone, welcome back. In this new video, we are going to talk about how to do API testing in robot frameworks. So now I'm basically going through the robot frameworks, like I'm just uh, making videos on robot framework to make all my users or subscribers to know that what exactly robot framework is and how it's working. So in my last video, I talked about robot frameworks where I explained why we should use robot frameworks over Selenium for automation testing. So I've talked about uh, what's uh, new in robot frameworks and why it's very helpful. So if you have not watched that video, I would say go and watch that too. And then come back here and watch this video where we'll talk about the API testing in robot frameworks. So I guess you have done API testing before using Selenium's uh, test engines. And now here, the same thing we'll be doing here, but using robot frameworks. Now, if you have some idea of robot frameworks, then it's quite clear that here also we are not going to write codes. Instead, we'll be using keyword-driven testing approach where basically we'll write the keywords. So let's go first with the introduction of API. So API testing is a type of software testing that involves testing application program interface directly and checking if they meet expectation for versatilities, reliabilities, performance, and securities. Instead of testing the UI like buttons or screens, like UI when you talk about UI is mean buttons or screens, in API testing, we test the backend logic, how software talks to each other. So basically whatever is done in the backend, you can say the database part that's done through API testing. So API testing more refers to one where you're doing the backend testing. So uh, basically here, uh, it's an interface. You can say when you are executing a program and the data that come up, to that particular website or to that application. So basically there is an interface, the API is an interface that helps to display the output. So an API act as a messenger between two systems. That's what I was trying to say. Now, just to understand this API better, I'll say, imagine you open a food delivery app, you select your meal and hit order. Now behind the scene, your request goes to the restaurant via an API the restaurant checks back the confirmation again through an API. In short, an API allows two software systems to communicate with each other. Now, this is the best example to understand the API, what exactly the API thing is. Like you have a food delivery app, you send, uh, you select a meal and send an order. So that order is sent to the other person who accepts your order. That means you send a request, that person accepts the order. Once it, he accepts the order, he sends back, and that request is the response is delivered to you saying that the order is accepted. So the communication between these two places, the two places where you see the communication between them, is controlled basically through this API. That's what API is. Now you'll see why use robot frameworks for API testing because it's easy to learn as it's key driven approach. I said keyword driven approach. So it's like you'll be using your keyword supports various libraries like request library supports for manual tester and automation engineers. Like it supports for all like uh, both manual and automation testers. It's supportable to both and it supports library like request library. That's basically used for API testing. Now, what is API testing? So basically you see it's uh, application program interface. It enables communication between two software. API testing verifies the functionality, performance, security, and reliability of API endpoints. Endpoint means from where you send a request and from where you fetch the response. So in API testing that is done, sending a request and accept a and get a response, the both is done through API testing. And also one thing, if you're using API testing, then in that case, your data is secure. Like, no, it's very less chance to be get hacked or the data gets glitched. So that's why we preferred using API testing. Now you know about the robot frameworks. It's an open source automation frameworks. Use simple English text where we to write the test cases. Support testings of web application, APIs, database, and files. So it supports in four different fields. Key features of robot frameworks is human readable syntax, executable with Python, and rich ecosystems of libraries. So you have a lot of libraries to run robot frameworks. Now I've talked more about this robot frameworks in my last video, still I've given you an introduction that is straight away you're watching this video, then you'd get to know that it's an open source automation frameworks that's written in simple English text and that's supportable for web applications, APIs, database, and files. 
and uh, basically it's Python supportable, but we don't write codes here. In case when you write some logics, we write the codes in Python. Apart from that, everything is keyword driven. That means there are specific keywords that you'll be using to write a test case. Now API testing workflow, it's basically identify the API endpoint, choose the method. There are four methods, get, post, put, delete. Get, if you want to fetch any data, post when you are sending an API request and you want just like you, uh, basically when you are just like you, you are performing login, so you entered the username and password. So based on that, so basically based on some information, you get response, that's post. Put, basically when you update a data and delete when you try to delete a data. So four common methods are used while doing API testing. Now here we set in API testing, we set the headers and parameters to send request. And the response can will be like in one form of status code. There will be some response body that contains some information, headers, and response time. These type of informations are mostly fetched in case of response. And these are the four packages, or basically you can say four libraries that you have to install while using robot frameworks. So request robot frameworks, robot frameworks that's request, robot frameworks that's JSON library. So these four. Uh, these four packages you have to install while you are using robot frameworks. I have my one test case ready for you. So now I've just shown you how, what exactly this API testing is, robot frameworks is. Now let's implement in real time. I'll show you a real time example. You'll get a better idea of this. Now you see, this is one of my API. This is one of my API and I'll show you in the postman this is the API. If you see, this is the API. And I've used the get method here. That means I'll fetch some documents from here. So when I send a request, now Postman is in the tool where you can easily go and check how the API is functioning. So here, when you click the send button, you see you get a list of data here. As well as you get a response as 200 OK. That means the request, based on the request that you send, you got the response. So that's why you got the return 200. Now in my test case, what I'm going to test here is that I will do the same thing. I'll send a request and try to fetch the response and check the status code. Now before doing this, you have to check that this is one of the project that's created in PyCharm. Go to your settings and in settings, here in Python interpreter, you see I've installed four libraries. Basically you have to do nothing. You have to go here. You have to search for the libraries. Like if you search for requests, you get the library request. In my case, it's installed, so I'm not getting it back. Or if you mention for robot frameworks, you will have it. In my case, it's basically installed, so you are not able to see it, but you have to, I'll show you what libraries I've installed. Yeah, robot framework dash request. You see request, you got it. So basically it's installed, so I don't get the install package options. So what I have installed here is, you see the very first thing, I mentioned four things. First request I installed, robot frameworks I installed, robot frameworks JSON library I installed, and robot frameworks JSON request I installed. These three things we installed. Now, once this is installed, then as usual, this is how we write the robot frameworks code. So first we'll go to the settings. We will first say a request library, requ uh, library request library. In variables, I've said two things. Now this is my base URL, and this is the extension. So what I've done, I've defined two variables, one as base URL and the other one as users. So in base URL, I have passed the base URL, the one that's used uh, that I'm using for API testing. As you have seen here, this is my complete URL. So this part of URL, I've kept it as base URL. So I'm assigning this value to base URL and the extension to users. Now below, I'm writing a test case. So if you are familiar with robot frameworks, then it's good. If not, then I'll tell you how we write the test cases in robot framework. So we have three sections. First is settings, second one is variables, and the last one is test cases. In the test cases, first you name the test cases like get weather info. So basically this is the name I have given. You can give any name you like. I've given the name as get weather info. You can give any name. Now the next thing what I've done is first I'm creating a session. Now I'm creating a session so that I can just pass my URL to it. So that's why I use the keyword create session. And I've given a name. 
Now, just I have given the name as my session. And again, uh, here I have passed the URL. So create session, this keyword. Based on this keyword, a session is created. Now in the next line, I use get request. So when I use get request, then it's clear that when I'll pass this URL, this URL will return me a uh, get. Basically, I'm sending a request using the get method. So get request I'm sending. And here I pass the UR user. Now, instead, no, here I've written the keyword as my session. So here, this base URL will pass instead of this, uh, in place of this my session. So what I've done indirectly is that instead of writing the base URL here every time, I've just written this my session. So this base URL will come here. Along with this base URL, the user part will also go. So this will become a complete URL. Now this will give you some response. And you see, I'm initializing like dollar response I have initialized is equals to. So whichever response it gives, that response will be tracked in this response variable. Now here, a little bit of uh, knowledge. If you have Python knowledge, then I guess it will be quite clear. Now log to console, this is a print statement basically used in API to track the uh, response or basically you see I'm seeing response dot status code. So when I say response dot status code, so this will give me this status code as 200 if it's correct. If not, it will give me wrong. So as usual, I go to terminal here and just I will write robot test case is the name of my folder where that file is. And first robot test case dot robot is the file name. Now when I run this, sorry, what I did. By mistake, this report is here, it's clicked. So here, when I run this, so you see it says pass. Get weather info is the name of my test case, which I've given, and it says this test case is pass. And because I have used log to dot console, so it gives me the response as 200. So it takes the response number and prints out here. So this is how, I API testing is done in robot frameworks. So I guess you have got an idea of robot frameworks, how it's working in API testing. So you see it's not much we are doing here. We are using the keywords and writing the test cases and you can go on writing the test cases. The best thing about the robot frameworks is it gives you the status like pass, failures or like that, that you don't get in post pen. If some error will occur, you can track the errors too. So it becomes more easier and just by using few keywords, you will get your expected output. So that's how robot frameworks help you. Here, no need to write codes. It's just based on the keywords. And this is how we can try our API testing using robot frameworks. So this is just an overview. Later, we'll see uh, in details about this. So I guess from here, you have got an idea how API testing, how to do API testing in robots frameworks. That's all. In this video, in next video, we'll talk about uh, the other topics. So stay tuned and keep watching my videos till then. Bye-bye and thank you.